Hey. All right. So I had a friend I was talking to today um, about, and I also am running this group called 100 Subscribers and 10 New Sales. Uh, it's a challenge that I put together or am putting together just off the, the cuff because that's what people want. They want new subscribers and they want new sales. So I'm running that group and part of that process of getting stuff like that done is about paying attention to what the habits are that we have now and what sort of distractions we are being um, absorbed by uh, without even knowing it a lot of the time. So what we're looking at right now is the way Facebook looks like. This is what it looks like if Facebook had its way with me. Now what I've always done is I've always uh, expanded my screen so that this this side section on the right gets um, shoved to the side basically. Uh, and um, the way that you do that is either control or command depending on whether you're on a PC or a um, a Mac. So I am on a Mac. I use command and then you, you hold down the command button or the control button and then you press the plus button. Wait, first you click on your page. You press the plus button and it goes up incrementally. I go up to 125 for my screen and it pushes all of that stuff that was on the left on the right side. It pushes it off out of my view so I don't have to worry about it at all ever so I keep my setting on this screen and I don't have that piece of the screen that Facebook would have me seeing and distracted by. The other thing that I do um, or have done for a long time is inside of chat if you click on this little wheel down here that's set, it's the settings it's options is what they call it. Um, I do leave on chat sounds because when I have just messenger open it's good to have notification like if I'm having a a conversation with somebody but I'm off on a different page that I don't mind um, but I do turn off the chat tabs which is when the chats will pop up like here in front of your face I don't have any time for anybody else feeling like or me feeling like they can intrude on my whatever I'm doing by having a chat pop up it's like having the phone ring I don't listen to the phone ring either um, and that's all that I have turned off here well, I have, oh no, you go into click turn on, turn off active status. And what I've done here is I've turned it off except for the, the three people in my family who are on Facebook so that when, no matter what, they can see when I'm online, when I'm offline and vice versa. Um, that's the easiest way that I've found to deal with this. You can turn it off for everybody. I just happen to want to put these three in here, so I did. Um, and then, so that's that part. You don't want to have people actively able to, to flash in front of your chat, and you don't want to have, um, you want to be uh, turned on. So basically, this means that I'm turned off, like that little green dot doesn't show up for anybody when I'm on Facebook, except for you also have to turn it off inside of your phone. So the way that you do it in the phone is you open Messenger and you go to your face on the top left side of the screen, click on your face and you scroll down to active status and you want to turn that off as well and then it will be turned off uh, completely like for all the people. So you have to have it turned off on both um, pieces of software otherwise you're foiled, your efforts are foiled if you have it on on your phone and you're on your phone then people can still see that you're green. So um, that's important. I think it's important to not always be always available to people at least in their minds. You know, oh she's online and she didn't answer me, whatever, blah blah blah. Um, so notifications you can't turn off. Um, the other thing that you can turn off is this cool, a friend just showed me um, Fire this is called Newsfeed Eradicator for Facebook. So it's a, a Chrome extension for sure. It might be that there's a, a Firefox extension as well, but it only works on the it doesn't work on the phone, it only works on the computer. But it's been pretty interesting because 
if you have a habit of scrolling when you get into Facebook, so I come in here, I have it turned off at the moment so we can see that I have like stuff. I could be going down, la, 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 looking, 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 you know, being distracted by stuff that some of it is interesting, some of it is viable in the moment, and a lot of it isn't. And if I'm on a mission to do something, I don't need all that now. I need that later maybe, or I need that never, or I wait till I get on my phone and like, you know, take some downtime and then I can, you know, puts through stuff. But Facebook Newsfeed Eradicator, if you go to, if you, if you click and uh, go online to your, on, onto your browser search, um, and you go to, you just type it in Facebook uh, feed, I think it's feed eradicator Chrome is what I did. And you just click here and it takes you to the Google Chrome page where you can add it as an extension. So here it'll say add, um, add to Chrome and you give it permissions to do whatever it needs to do. And um, you can come back and take it out here. Or what it looks like is it's up here. And when I click on, it says... Um, it tells me I can remove it from Chrome, but what I want to do is when I turn it on, oh, when I'm on Facebook, it's lit up. And because I had turned it off, I can reload the page and watch what it does. It takes the newsfeed out. Newsfeed is gone. I have no access, and it gives me a quote of either it's choosing or I can actually, um, and I can turn quotes off. I can turn it, turn, uh, disable these I can um, I don't know what all I can do anyway point is is there's stuff to do in here if you want to and I just left it as preset so what happens is every time I load this page now even if I feel like I want to go scrolling down my newsfeed which I really don't too much because the whole premise for me so here's the other piece of this I only come on Facebook for its business first and social second for me. And do I have a lot of friends on Facebook? Yeah, but they're a happy byproduct of my work for the most part. I've had this, had this four year uh, side trip into the land of human design, but now I'm integrating that into my conversations with my work uh, interests. And it comes down to, it's not, it's not that I don't have um, an interest in being friends with people. It's just that it isn't to my purpose. This isn't my purpose. So uh, everything, that I, everything that I do when I come onto Facebook is measured against, is this about, you know, is this taking me in the direction? Not even about in the direction. Is it interesting to me because it's, business related or is it just some kind of you know sidetrack really and the sidetracks can be interesting sometimes and often they'll be there you know there's always a way to leverage stuff into content if you're doing content for your audience or whatever but it's also possible to be completely distracted by other people's drama to be completely you know taken off track with you know I don't have this so much but I see where other people are having feelings about what other people are doing and I do remember one one instance when um, my brother and sister-in-law had um, we had some kind of something that was going on and they they decided like there was some financial issue with us all and the next thing I know they're at Disney Disney World um, playing and I was like how does this even work? So I don't need to see stuff like that. And nobody really needs to see stuff like that of other people who, you know, if you haven't been included in something, freaking leave it alone and let it not be on your radar <laughs> and live your life. See what I mean? Anyway, so yeah, there can be like so much drama and so many, you know, you see adults like just with crazy, they, they can get crazy with this Facebook stuff. And I just, prefer to buy step all of that 
So I turn off my chat. It's not that I can't receive chats. It's just that they come into the messenger messages up here. And then if I want to go see them all in a messenger screen, I can go here. But I can do that on my time, not on their time. Now, granted, anybody who, who is um, working with me knows that I'm like pretty instant on. It's not that they have to be able to see me online in order to message me and like a lot of times have a pretty pretty quick response time because it's actually easier for me to kind of just keep at it than it is to kind of have it pile up like a lot of people are like do it in blocks you know time block your stuff out that's like for me it's just a lot more work to like try and plow through stuff and I don't feel as connected to things in the moment and so forth. So that's not me. If that's you, that's fine. If you need to time block stuff and do it that way, do it that way. But just be aware of what is working for you and what isn't working for you and experiment with other things if you if you come across them or you know think they might be interesting to, to work with. So this week I'm working on my Facebook with the um, with the Facebook the newsfeed eradicator turned on and apparently see I have things when I comment in things I do get tagged and so forth so the notifications will continue here's another here's one other one last point let's say you can't turn off the tags um, but say I didn't want to get any more notifications about that particular post so I might go see what she said to me, but I'm really done with this conversation. So I'm going to turn off the post um, notifications. So you can like sometimes get onto a post where everybody has, you know, 500 people have something to say about the thing, but you don't have to be subject to every single person coming back and having the conversation about that thing. If you're done with that conversation or if you don't want to think about it until later when the 500 people have finished turn off the notifications so here's another you can do that for groups as well you can turn off notifications from a group um, you can turn on the, so there's times when I have there's busier groups I turn off the notifications and then I go visit them occasionally when I feel like it or there's groups that uh, I need turned on for this week like sometimes there's a five-day challenge group or um, groups that all the groups that I manage and, and moderate I not all of the ones that I moderate but the ones that I'm in charge of I keep turned on because I'm supposed to be present for people but the other stuff you have to be really individually selective okay anyway that's my that's my how I deal with Facebook um, it's it's a it's an asset for me this way if I used it any other way it would not be an asset for me so find ways that Facebook can be an asset for you or don't be on Facebook that's kind of the full blade of the land okay okay I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you again